Papa and the red red pants or gray coats. Like I said, they, they did this whole thing where they called themselves the French soldiers or whatever. And they wore red pants and gray gray coats. I did all the uniforms so I know which ones, who got who and who got what. And about 3,000 or more of them got killed. Um, and some other stuff. Like I say, they... Um, um, there's like 3,000 or 5,000 uniforms, I forget exactly. Like I say, I don't really rem remember the details. Papa, or the or the blood, basically the, the leader of, of the Bloods and Crips before back in time. Like I say, they come onto the scene somewhere around 1812 or so, and then they start doing all this stuff. Um, and Height of the Power is somewhere around 1890 or 1900, basically, where they're doing this black takeover. And enslavement. It might actually have started a little bit sooner, but basically, um, I noticed it around then. Anyway, like I say, they go to Belfast and they start sh shoving leaves and crap down the down the toilets. Like I say, they buy, they buy or, or extort or basically get their way into a company just just up the channel. But like like I have this big twelve foot pipe or six foot pipe down inside there. I think it's twelve foot pipe, but it's not a pipe. It's actually just rock, you know. And and I use use the water for gr for, for for the grinding mills. And the different and the and the different uh, like 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 sewing things, you know, you know the the the, the water runs through the pipe, <clears throat> and it hits the thing. And I think it might might even be drinking water or something like that, or some sort of water for something important. Anyway, but these machines sit on top, and um, and they you know the water running by, you know, because it's just drinking water, and drinking water is you know as long as it's clean, it's clean, it's fine. Anyway, though, so what they do is they. Um, it's an Irish town, so basically they the, the they take the stuff off, and they start pooping inside the water. You know, it's I think it's the water system actually, and I use it because it comes down from the mountain stream and goes through my pipes, and I'm like, well, okay, I'll just run it through these things, and you know, I'll get some pr production out of this clean water, you know, and then people can drink it and and stuff like that. Anyway, so Papa comes along and he starts doing this little thing. He moves like three thousand people in there, and they start shitting on purpose into the water. That the, the, the other people are drinking and they start shoving trash and leaves and leaves and crap in inside there trying to clog up the system and trying to make people sick basically so they can move down down and move into the town and so anyway the Irish find out about this and they be, because people start getting sick in the town but they don't know why and it's because there's fecal matter inside of the inside of the water system because you know they, they they get their way into one of these shops and then they take the thing off and then they put a little seat and then every single person goes and shits in the water and that's actually the drinking water for the town so so they're you know what they pull off the thing and they're like oh yeah and then they put a little seat in on there and then every single one of them sit there and makes itself comfortable and takes a crap in the in the water system that the, that the irish and the, and the french and the germans drink anyway so People start getting sick, and so we start testing the water, and it's like, there's fecal matter in here. So we start checking the shops, and sure enough, there's some black. There's a black community right in there, and a couple black shops. Anyway, and sure enough, they they break into there, and they find the little seat in the toilet, and that's where all of them have been crapping. Anyway, the Irish find it and then kick them out. Put a gate on the thing and says, "No, you can't do this because they're and they're like, oh, it's about the blah, 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 blah. and it's like, no, that they, they're they're purposely trying, you know, that they, they're trying to make everyone sick in the town by shitting the, shit in the water. Anyway, I was using it as an old system and it had been fine forever because you know it's just the water works for the it just runs a a, a water wheel and you know, and then you know you grind grain and all kinds of stuff and all but the black people they went there and pushed everyone out and then they started crapping in the water system to make everyone else sick in the town. Of Belfast. So that's Mr. Brown and Mr. Black, Harmon Wolf, you know. If you can't do it one way, he'll try another way. And then and then after that he starts actually like killing people and stuff. You know, exponential attack basically. From eighteen twelve on, you know, and then you know and, and like like nineteen thirty and nineteen forty basically they're doing this this stuff. You know. So anyway, so that's what ha what happened in Belfast with those towns and stuff like that, and uh, there a lot, bunch of people get sick because of it, because they because they crap in the water system for like for like a little while until a little boy gets sick or a little girl, and then like I say, my my scientists they go in and they check the water system and they're like there's, there's fecal matter in it. I'm like oh okay and then and and I think I might have even said well wait a minute those things check the shops. I think I said check the shops because the shops have. Have that because it's an old system. It's like a thousand. It's like a couple. It's like a hundred year old or fifty year old system that 
I don't really use. I didn't really use it anymore. I think most of them actually even had steel grates on the top. But a couple of the shops were still open just for posterity and all that other stuff. But, but basically, the black people went in there. They just put a little thing and started crapping it like crazy, and started dumping trash. They purposely dumped trash in there to clog up the twelve foot pipe. And they, they actually clogged up a six two foot pipe. One of my people were like, "We checked the six the the, the big one at the bottom. It's clogged up." <laughs> I was like, "What?" Like, yeah, they dumped a bunch of trash and bags and crap in there. Clogged the whole thing up, basically. Because it backed up. Anyway, it turns out there's like a cesspool in there and all that other stuff. They said, we even found some fish. <laughs> like fish, because, because, because fish, um, if, there's, if, if there's poop and fecal matter going down a water stream, fish will, 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 will swim up it going after the, the fish. Can, fish can like smell the fecal matter. They know if there's fecal matter in water. It's one of the ways we can test to see if there's fecal matter in water because you just put a fish by it, and if the fish climbs up and goes up the channel, you you, you know they're going after that that, that that food that they smell. I mean they, they don't they they sense it or something somehow. If you put if you if you have if you have three pipes and a fish tank and you have one with fecal matter and one without fecal matter, the fish will always go for the fecal matter. He they know somehow they can go, and they'll swim up the fecal matter pipe. So it's something that most people don't know. If you have, if you have a fish tank and you, have, and you have fecal matter coming out of one pipe and fresh water coming out of the other pipe, the fish will always go for the fecal matter. <laughs> I don't know why. It's something we found out a long time ago. They'll always just swim up there. So, so sure enough, they're swimming up. You know, it's one of the ways you can check to, 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 to see if there's fecal matter inside your, inside your water too. Is it's just, it's just put a fish by it and if the fish goes up, there's fecal matter in your water. You don't even need science. <laughs> Just a fish. <laughs> anyway, they'll always go up. The, the the one crabs will go up in there too. A crab, you know, you know, if they if they sense the nutrients, they'll just climb up and go up in there. But if it's fresh, clean water without any fecal matter or any or anything like that, they won't go up in it. They'll just um, they'll avoid it. It's like what? It's a water stream. <laughs> You know, but if there's any fecal matter at all or any nutrients at all, they'll, they'll climb up in there and they'll just, or, you know, fish always do that. We found out a long time ago that, um, that they hang around the, the cities like a couple hundred years ago. So it's one of our tests to see if someone's pooping in the water. <laughs> no one knows it though. I mean, I mean, and some people should know it, but yeah, I did tests. This is a thousand year old test. So it's old science. So that's one of the ways we, we, we test for that kind of stuff. Because the fish will go up into the... Because sometimes we'll have fresh water coming in, and we'll have sewage coming in, and the fish will always go up to where the... to where, And then they'll just hang around there and swim and eat. And crabs will even... It's like, hey, we look down! You got 40 crabs in your tank! Like... <laughs> we looked in there and there's like 40 crabs in there! Like there'll be hundreds of crabs just because they'll climb, they'll come from the ocean and they'll climb up and they'll be climbing, 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 following that stream, that stream of nutrients and those. I'm serious. It's like, it's like a joke. You know, you put a pipe and put some fecal matter in it, running out in a tank. <laughs> they'll climb all the way from the ocean, all the way up into the, into the source of the biggest nutrients. And then they'll lay their little eggs in there and live and little fish will come by. Serious. Anyway, we found it out. Found it out five thousand years ago, or something, or thousand years ago. So yeah, it's one of those things. I was like, oh, yeah, okay. That's how we test. So anyway, Mr. Brown was like, "You can't prove nothing." And I think we might have even done the test and said, "Look, this is how we know." Anyway, yeah, it was like it was a couple hundred years ago, but yeah. Anyway, so but that's how we knew.